if you are not doing this at practice as an athlete or a coach, you're gonna have a bad time. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog where we talk about everything pole vault. Tickle that like button if you like to hear babies laughing and if you don't, what kind of monster are you? Also subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you never miss any of this pole vault awesomeness that I'm feeding you guys like a shark from a boat and goat guts being thrown off the back. I have nothing. So what is the number one thing you need to be doing at pole vault practice? I will tell you right after these commercial time, commercial time, everybody loves commercial time. Do you want magic powers? Me too! VS Athletics has these internet wizard powers where they sell pole vault equipment like poles, pits, shoes, chalk, all the other stuff that you need. And it places a magic spell on your order to make them cheaper. Just gotta use these codes. Right here, guys. Use, use these codes. It'll be fun. You'll be a wizard. But seriously, make sure you use those codes because if you just buy stuff from them and you don't use those codes, then it doesn't help me support this channel and the channel could die. Also, the full pole vault high school training season program that I, <laughs> that I wrote and talked about last week is going fast. If you become a member of Team Hoot, you will get 15% off which saves you about $45, which is a lot of Chipotle. But the sale ends tonight, Wednesday, the 13th at midnight. Also, the first eight people get a copy of, ta-da, Maggie Vaults Over the Moon. I like it a lot. If you guys need more information on the training program, there is a link in the description below and a little thing right up here. Hi. Do you want to know what you need to do as an athlete or coach to help you and your squad jump higher? I'll tell you right after the news. Division one championships, women. Arkansas pole vault powerhouse took one, two, and four in the women's pole vault. Gold and silver went to Lexi who jumped 15-3 and Tori who jumped 15-1. My favorite part is they are both sisters. Sisters took one, two in the NCAA championships and Lexi tied Sandy Morris's indoor school record. Holy shenanigan banana pants. The D1 champs for the men. Nine dudes jumped over 550. That's all of my fingers and one thumb. The winner, I'm gonna butcher his name, Hussein Alhazam of Kansas. <laughs> I can't read. Dumped 570, 188, and broke his national record. Woo! Last but not least is the high school boys. Zach Bradford jumped 18-1 or 550 as well as a senior in high school. To put this in perspective, the only pole vaulter to ever jump higher indoors for the pole vault is Mondo Duplantis. And then USA champion Scott Houston jumped 555. 18-2 from five less at Daniel Ryland's Disneyland Play Pole Vault House. And the day before he pole vaulted on a slack line and did a backflip. Pretty sick. News is over. You need to be doing this at practice as an athlete or coach. These are a few common emails I get every single week. Sean, I can't get on this pole. I suck. Sean, I can't get this kid to jump any higher. I suck. Sean, I'm not progressing. I suck. No, 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 no. You don't really suck. You're actually super awesome, to me at least. So where does this all come from? This comes from focusing on the product. The process. Product people focus on the bar falling down, see it as failure, and it ends there. Here's a little chart I made for you. Bar fell, see it as failure. Don't ask any questions, no progress. Process people start the exact same way, but instead of just accepting that it was failure, they ask why. Why did that bar fall down? So we go back to my little chart. So it starts the same way. The bar fell, there was failure. But instead of stopping there, they ask why. And they realize they hit it on the way up. Why? How did I hit it on the way up? The standards might have been too close. Or there was a tailwind. Maybe there was some crazy bear that had bees in its mouth and while it was chasing you down the runway, bees were flying out and you're afraid to get stung and also get bitten by a bear, so you ran really fast. The point is, process people see failure as opportunities to learn, progress, and grow. The big problem between the two is that they both want to get to this big, giant, meaty, sexy goal, right? Everyone wants to get up here. They want to PR, make the Olympics, all these big win state, whatever your big goal is. But if you're down here and you're trying to take too big of steps, if you're trying to be a product person and go straight from one to 10, it's a huge, hard leap. But if you're a process person, you gradually take these steps and you see that you're always progressing as long as you're learning and you're more likely to get that big, meaty, juicy, sexy goal. Any good scientist will tell you that the more experiments you do, 
the more likely you are at solving the problem. As I'm making this section of the vlog, I'm realizing that this would go hand in hand with this other video I made about journaling. What did you learn? And there is no failure as long as you learn something. To me, if you're a product person and you go to a meet and the crossbar falls down and you leave and you didn't learn anything and you try the same exact garbage next week, Einstein, whoop, has a quote that says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. That's pure insanity to me. So learn something, make changes next time. Hope this helps. Let's review some videos. All right, the first video is from Michael, and he is a master's pole vaulter. He said he was 65 years old, and I'm gonna go on record and saying that master's vaulters are probably my favorite vaulters, besides like first year pole vaulters. They're doing the sport because they still love it, and it's still fun, and that bleeds enthusiasm onto me, and I, I just love that. I just think it's so cool. So, what I told Michael right off the bat, and he said he's been very aware of it, is this knee drive. It's a little rough. It's a little, it's a little rocky. As what I wanted to see is that knee drive come up a little bit higher, point where he wants to go, and that's gonna add all this energy into the pit. And he said he's been thinking about it, and sometimes he gets it, and it looks really good, and it feels really good, but other times it just goes away because he's thinking about other aspects of the event. That's kind of how it happens. And then uh, trying to stick that head in front of those shoulders a little bit, and that'll create a bigger stretch in the chest, have his body come through straight versus, this is what I told him is the pole looks like it's swinging him versus him swinging on the pole. So is the pole throwing you into an invert or are you able to use the pole to throw yourself into an invert? Those are two very different things. And I think with that knee drive and that chest, he'll be able to accomplish that goal. Sick jump though. Thanks for sending it, man. And props to you for continuing to do this crazy sport even after your body's like, mm-mm. All right, this next video is Kristoff. And if you watch the video, this little guy in the blue back here is Olympic gold medalist Tim Mack. So, <laughs> Kristoff asks, hey, what do I do? What do I do? We're working on the arms and the plant, and I just, I just want some other perspective. And the first thing I said is, listen to Tim Mack. That's an easy one. Just whatever Tim's saying, do that, because he obviously has a plan for you. I'm, I know this, because I've talked to Tim, and He's the one you should listen to. They asked for my opinion, so I'm sharing it, but I'm saying it with some caution. If Tim has a different idea, listen to Tim first. Because pole vault isn't just one or two things, it's like you're an artist and you're chipping away at the sculpture to create it. And Tim is an artist, a coaching artist. So really the biggest thing I said is his arms look great. He said he hits it every once in a while and sometimes it doesn't work, but like, kind of like the last guy, he gets thrown back into this body position right away. So, is there a way for him to come through the pole just a little bit more horizontal so he can have a bigger swing at takeoff? And I don't know if Tim's thinking about this or not. Again, there's a lot of ways to pole vault. But I would love to see, just from the way I like to coach, is if he can get a little bit more stretch here and come through the pole just a little bit more horizontal, good things will happen, bigger swing. But man, working on those arms, I love how they look. You're doing a killer job uh, and then call Tim a butthead for me that's about it all right last but not least we have Reese good little jump man I'm loving the speed and loving everything about it um, really it's just the plant from what I can see from here so if we can wow geez right here it's a little fuzzy but your arms back behind you so that obviously makes you about six inches shorter right off the bat and it also makes it so you're just gonna get smashed at takeoff versus have the pole lift you up in the air. So I'm just predicting, but smash. Yep, so I'm gonna send you, I'll put a link here to the how to plant the pole video. I want your arm up in front of your head, reaching up at one o'clock, and boom, good things will happen. Start there, man, because that's gonna make the rest of your jump after the plant look so much different that I'm not even gonna worry about it yet, because it's gonna be a whole, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna cocoon into a beautiful butterfly. I got nothing, guys. My jokes are not good today. Let's end it there. Good job, guys. Guys, with that said, I reset the counter, so if you want a chance to get your video reviewed, there's a free pool. If you automatically want your video reviewed, $10 helps me get Chipotle with guac, because I was eating Chipotle without guac, and it is not as good. Get on those training programs, and if, uh, you're, you're a pole vaulter, a high school pole vaulter right now, or middle school, and your coach doesn't know about this, send it to them, see what they think. It works, that's all I can say, it makes you fast.
and speed is the most important part of this event. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to talk about next week. I have a few ideas and I will be doing more so of warm ups and stuff, but as you can see, and there's still snow everywhere. So I have to wait. Well, that being said, there are more than one ways to pole vault. Try everything. If what I say works, awesome. I'm happy to help. If it doesn't, awesome. I'm happy to help that you learn something that doesn't work. See what I did there? That's, that's that process stuff I'm talking about. Guys, life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you next week.